Hello, hello, my name is Leo and welcome to Blau Films. Today we will be looking at an example from our upcoming film Syntactic Labyrinths and we will cover how to solve a missing textures error in Cinema 4D. It's a really common error that often happens when scenes are merged into each other or when copy pasting assets with different texture folders into a new scene. In this video, we will focus on using the Project Asset Inspector to relink textures, and then we will cover a few different workflows to help you solve your error. All right, let's get into it. Why are your textures missing? We're inside of Cinema 4D with a new scene, and let's merge project a scene from Syntactic Labyrinths. Before I click open, Notice that there is a text folder inside the scene folder. All the texture maps used in the scene can be found here. The scene is nicely packaged like this because we saved the project with assets. Now let's select the C4D file and click open. If we click on one of these materials that got loaded in, you'll see that the textures are missing. We can still read the original path that C4D is trying to reference, but as they say themselves, there's no such file or directory. We're going to go to Window and then to the Asset Inspector. This window will open up, which shows you a list of every texture asset assigned to a material or object in the scene. But let's say we only want to relink the textures assigned to this bottom row of materials. We're going to select the materials and then in the Asset Inspector, Edit and then to Select Assets of Active Elements. Now look at that. The textures assigned to our selected scene elements are now ready to be relinked. So we'll go up here and we'll click Relink Textures. Select that text folder that holds your textures, press Open, and here you go. The status has changed to a green check mark. If you have many texture maps assigned to your materials, it will take a moment for all materials to be updated. You'll know when they're ready once the material previews stop being gray and they turn back to their normal color. Now let's do the same for the top row. Select the materials, go to edit, select active elements, then give it a quick check, click relink textures and open your text folder. And now your textures should be linked back up. Now you can happily render your scene and the results will be what's expected. All right, let's have a look at another example. We have a scene opened with our industrial decals pack spread out in a grid, each with different materials assigned to it. And if we click on a material, we'll see the dreaded missing texture icon again. Let's do this one manually, just to show you the difference. We'll go up to Window, Project Asset Inspector. Then I'm going to select all the assets, and then I'm manually going to deselect all the ones that have a green check mark. Amazing. Now let's relink the textures. Find our relevant text folder, click open, give it a wait, and there you go. It works manually as well. You know what? This is actually a great moment to announce that our industrial decals pack has released update 2.0. All of these assets have been based on real urban decals that we found in the wild. You can customize each of your assets with the provided Photoshop files and then export it with all the masks you need. You can get the assets now on www.blaufilms.com and actually if you're a student, um, I guess this includes a student of life, you can even get it for free. However, if you're a professional and you're using this professionally, we would greatly appreciate your support as your purchases directly fund further development of our projects. Blaufilms.com, you know the deal. Now let's get back to the video. Cool, now that we know how to solve our missing textures error, let's have a brief look at the asset inspector. There's a variety of columns, ranging from scene elements to your file path and asset name. By holding the column header, you can drag these in any order that you like. If we click on view up here, we can add additional columns with information that we think is relevant. Then, if we go up into the right corner right here, there's a search function. Let's say we search for roughness. Now here are all your roughness maps as long as you've named your texture maps correctly. And finally, I'd like to point out the find and replace with functions. For example, a underscore low resolution version and an underscore high resolution version 
or even a different color of a same texture map. As long as your texture files are named properly, you can find and replace them right here. And that's it, for the basics at least. I'll definitely make a follow-up tutorial in which I'll cover how to globalize assets and localize assets, which can come very much in handy when referencing files in a scene very, very often. Thank you very much for watching, and thank you very much for being a part of Blaufilms. Be sure to subscribe, be sure to leave a like, be sure to talk to people in the comments section. Over the years I've managed to speak to so many cool people thanks to the Blaufilms community that have had so much valuable input on the projects we've been doing. Be sure to talk to people in the comments section, you never know what's up. Alright, have a great day and bye bye, see you next time.